Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.8.7 and Polychop Simulations SA342L Gazelle Module. Welcome to bonus video number one, Polar Coordinates. Polar Coordinates allow us to generate a waypoint using an offset from either an existing waypoint or from the aircraft's current position. This is very useful in combination with the Athos site, because the Athos site will give us a heading and a distance using the Laser Ranger in metres, and that can then be entered into the Nadir. Let me demonstrate the procedure. Um, I'm just going to hide my pilot body here, and we can keep the gunner. But if I scroll down on the Nadir here, this is the Nadir control panel. If I go to the F10 map, uh, I can generate uh, a uh, an offset that I want to use. So here's our helicopter. Make sure that our distance is set to meters because the the uh, the Nadir uses meters. Select ruler, and then with the ruler we could actually choose a point. I'm going to choose over here. Uh, that should give me north 3506 something like decimal one and east 3320 decimal three. Uh, and that's an offset of 104 degrees and 1,540 meters. Let's go ahead and try entering that into the Nadir and see what happens. We have a button on the keypad here labeled Paul. That's for polar mode. We select Paul mode and then we choose the waypoint from which we're going to derive the offset. We could choose any waypoint we currently have or we can choose zero for our aircraft's current position. That's what we're generally going to do. Now I know I don't have a waypoint at five, so I'm going to next choose five because that's the, the waypoint where we'll store the new coordinates. That's done, and now the display changes. We're now in the mode where we can enter the azimuth on the top line and the distance in meters on the bottom line. We press enter to go into enter mode, and it was 104 degrees. We can press the down arrow to select the bottom line, and 1540 meters. If we press enter again, that waypoint has been generated, and we can select the waypoint by choosing 5. And just as I said before, north 35, 06 minutes, decimal 1, east 33 degrees, 20 minutes, decimal 3. That's exactly what we were intending to get. And then when I look at the HSI, it's reading uh, the fat pointer is pointing towards that waypoint and we're reading 1.5 kilometers, which is entirely correct. So it's pretty simple. That is the entire method. That is how you use polar coordinates. Uh, so you press Paul, you choose the waypoint from, you choose the waypoint you want to store the new coordinates in, you press enter, you enter the azimuth, you press the down arrow, you enter the distance, and then you uh, press enter a final time. And that's the whole thing generated. Very quick bonus video for you today. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of joining Deep Hacks Ground Crew by pressing the join button below. Big shout out to those of you who've already done so. Thank you very much, Harish Rajan, Byron Farrow, Storm Kimbari, Channel Wright, Mangash, J.R. Walker, Chandler Hedgevald, Griff Nizzle, Mr. Yeti, Bread, Tier Zero, Erdin Kertan, Tiger Muto, Sean IM81, Charts, John Bluer, Veli Depani Korpikanas, Mike Delta, Sergei Debovic, eh, Ogatai36, Hamilton, Frantic Stone, Sandbox Code, Mr. Craptacular, Oh, it just moved. Uh, Tog, um, Kitsune, Rocklin Gaming, Tea Kettle Barbecue, Shmo78, Alex, Colonel Billington, Matt, Fludidi, Jurgen Dressel, Aaron Redman, and Pink Floyd. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.